Hey everybody, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Today I wanted to show you how to propagate one of the easiest plants on the planet to propagate, willows. They are so simple. There's two ways to do them. You can do them in water, you can do them in soil. Either way will work just fine, whatever you want to do on them. And, you know, it pretty much works for every type of willow, whether it be a dappled willow, which is what I'm going to show you here, or if it's going to be like a green willow, weeping willow, something like that. They all root very easily. They've got a high amount of auxins inside them that allows that rooting ability to happen. You can even use the leftover water from your rooting to water other plants and make their root systems even stronger. So so it's just a really cool plant to use for lots of different purposes. Well, let's go ahead and let me show you what I'm going to look for in a plant to get it ready to root. Now right here is one branch of our dappled willow. You can see here it's starting to put out its spring growth. And these particular leaves will eventually start to flush out and start changing color. They'll be more dappled in nature, kind of a white, a little bit of pink is going to go in them. And you can see here that you've got the little flowers that are starting to appear on it. And those are called catkins when it's referred to on a willow. And on this particular plant here, I've got a lot of different areas of this that I can turn into some really good cuttings. So let me show you what those are going to look like. So right here I've taken the cutting. This is one long branch and I don't really want the stuff up here at the top because it's a little thinner. That might be able to root but I'm not even going to worry about that because I've got so much other good material here. And I'm going to take them about six to eight inches in length and I'm just going to snip below a node on each one where I think I can make a pretty good cutting on. Note there, there's one, two, three, four, and five pretty good willow cuttings. You can see there's a lot of difference in the thickness of it. This one is a little bit bigger than a pencil size thickness. Should root really well. This one is perfect. This is exactly the right way I'd want to do it. These others are a little smaller, but they should have no trouble rooting either. I would, if I were gambling, I would say this one is going to root first above all the others. All right, so to prep these here, I really don't need any of these catkins on the willow, so I'm just going to pick them off real quick. They're mostly toward the end of the plant, so you don't have to worry about it. Then I'll take the bottom half of this, and I'll just strip off everything that's remaining. Sometimes it goes smooth, other times there's got a little resistance to it. And for right now, I'm going to drop it in a glass of water. This is just a little jar. And clean water. And here on this one here, you see the same thing. It's a real simple process. Just remove those lower leaves. Anything that you're going to submerge in the water or in the soil, you remove. Now I'm doing this in the springtime when the growth is just starting. But the truth is, a willow can be rooted almost year-round. You can take hardwood cuttings in the winter just fine. You can do it in the summer. However you want to do it, pretty much any time of the year, you can take a cutting from a willow tree and get it to root. The key is to use first-year growth. So if it has started on that first year, then you can take that cutting at any point during the year and be fairly certain it's going to be a successful cutting. They don't always root, but I'd say probably 9 times out of 10, you're going to get roots on a willow. Now right here I could stop and I would be just fine just leaving these in here, making sure that I've got fresh water in every couple days, change it out, and these are going to root with no problem. But what I would prefer to do is take these cuttings, put them into a pot with some soil. I'll probably use uh, just a shaved bark clippings, that kind of thing, so it's bark shavings. Soil conditioner is another name for it. And put those in there and then just keep it outside. Let the regular rains come down and water it for me and they're going to root just as well. In fact, maybe even a little bit better because they've got the darkness around all those rooting areas. It's going to help that root know, hey, it's time to root. Let's put out some roots. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to take these and we're going to put them in a pot with some soil medium that's going to help them to root. So this is really very easy. These are just those soil conditioner, the little bark shavings here that I've got in this pot. That's all that's in here. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my cutting with the cut end down and then I'm going to slide them in as deep as I can up to about there. I don't want them going all the way to the bottom of the pot, but I want them going several nodes into the dirt. And from each of those nodes, there is going to grow 
set of roots. And let's take a quick look at those nodes. These little spots here, these unions of where the flowers or where the leaves are coming from are nodes. And that's where a lot of the growth hormones and auxins are inside of the plant. And so the more of those that we can trick into rooting, the better off we're going to be on it. So I'm going to just pop in. We've got five total cuttings here, and they should have no difficulty rooting whatsoever. Uh, probably in about two weeks, we will have new growth flushing out nice and full, and they will be in really good shape. One thing we are going to do now, though, is I'm going to take this water that I just had in here, give it a little bit of a drench here, and we're done. So I like to set my cuttings into a shady spot under a tree. I've got this Japanese maple right here uh, that when it's got all the foliage on it, it provides pretty good cover for the summertime cuttings. But what we've got are several of my other cuttings down over here on the ground. You can see this grapevine one that I've had in here for a bit. This is the dappled willow right there. Um, got some hydrangea cuttings down here. Now, they haven't started putting out growth on those yet. But we've got a bunch of other things under this tree, and of course you've got a whole bunch of daffodils that these need moved. They um, have stopped blooming because there's so much shade over here in this spot. But that really makes it a good location for doing my cuttings, putting them back under this tree. The shade keeps them from losing too much moisture at a time. So at least until rooted, that's probably a good scenario for them. Anyway, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Hope you enjoyed this short little video on the easiest to root plant of all time. At least that's what I think with the willows. You can tell me in the comments if you think there's something that's easier to root than a willow. And why are we getting mosquitoes? We don't need mosquitoes yet. It's March. We don't need mosquitoes. Anyway, I'm Dave with Growing the Home Garden. Thanks for watching. Please hit like and subscribe if you found this video useful. We'll talk to you later.